everyone my name is the plum lady and welcome to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day a wonderful week a wonderful month a wonderful life um so today we are going to be doing a speed build i named this speed build family point by the roof because i normally don't do a roof like that but i decided to take a little bit of a, a chance here a little bit of a difference um, and today it is going to be a three bedroom, two bathroom house. And I picture this being like a small family with room to expand because upstairs you'll see, I do leave like the bathroom upstairs is going to be actually pretty massive for the children's bedroom. But I mean, we all wish there was bigger bedroom bathrooms and, um, houses <laughs> because I used to share a bathroom with my brother. And let me tell you, another sink would have been glorious, but of course I didn't get that um, and I actually do this really beautiful wraparound porch I love wraparound porches so much I hope to have one in my future home when you know I actually buy a house um, but that is not going to happen anytime soon um, but you'll see me doing the floor plan right now and um, I actually put the master on the first floor and the stairs I did something different with the stairs I actually put them in the middle of the house and you'll see later, I'm going to put a fireplace on the other side of the stairs. So definitely something new. Now, I built this house in Sunset Valley. And as I was building it, I built it up on the mountainside, up like in the rural area. And I realized halfway through this that I was kind of leaning more towards a beachy vibe when it came to it. So for the screenshots, you'll see it's on a completely different lot. I actually moved it down to the beach for the screenshot so don't be surprised if you see it on a completely different lot later on um but i went with a very like coastal vibe on the outside with the dark windows and the light wood all the way around and don't worry i do put the light wood on the bottom where the stairs are i just forgot to do it at this point and it takes me a second to realize that that was not covered um but again with the beachy vibe i just went with the light wood and then these tiles i love these tiles so much it's actually from late night and i use that in almost every single one of my bathrooms let me tell you so don't be alarmed if you see them everywhere um and you'll see upstairs we have two bedrooms and a bathroom um for this family i did furnish it for again a uh, husband and wife and a nursery up there and it's gonna be a boys nursery i wanted to make it unisex but then I saw myself leaning more towards greens and, you know, pirates and planes and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, you could definitely change the colors up to make it more girly or unisex or whatever you want. Um, but I did lean more towards the boy. And then the other child room, I did make it a teen girl's bedroom. But I made it like more of an edgy be bedroom in the sense of like she's going through a phase right now. <laughs> she's got that whole gothic eyeliner makeup going on. So I did actually put some makeup in her bedroom to kind of like make it a little bit more realistic so you'll definitely see that and then when it comes to outside I love using terrain paint so much you can see me doing it right now I kind of do it on the lowest setting and I make it just a little bit more realistic give some levels to the outside a little bit and I go back and fix it a little bit because it does give me some anxiety <laughs> I didn't want it to show up too much but then again, again, I wanted it to show up more and I just go back and forth with that. And then we're just doing landscaping right now. I love landscaping so much. It's not the best thing in the world, but it is definitely one of my favorite things to do in a house, placing down trees and flowers. And I just love flowers so much. So, and here you'll see, I actually realized that I needed to add the siding to the foundation. And then what we're doing now is the trees. Now, since I was going with a beachy vibe, I thought about doing palm trees. But normally when I'm placing down trees, I like to look at the trees that are around me. Because the trees around me obviously are going to be setting the scene. You don't want the house to look like it's got 50 million different trees going down there. 50 million, not 50 million, by the way. <laughs> 50 million trees that are different. You want it to kind of blend in to seem like it was supposed to be there. And then moving on to the inside of the house, I do always start with the kitchen just because the kitchen is the heart of the home to me and I love using these countertops actually, they're base games so I really like using those countertops. 
Um, but I love cooking, so the kitchen is always very important to me, so I always make sure that the kitchen has an island. I think that is the most important thing to me in a kitchen is an island. And, you know, I use that lamp there for um, a fake exhaust because this house is actually full of minimum of custom content. The only custom content you will see in this build is actually going to be the upstairs windows, which is part of a set that changes the normal EA windows to make counter heights and all of that stuff. And then I also use um, the same drapes from the same set. So you'll see the longer looking EA drapes. Those are actually custom content. And then moving on to the living room, I am the type of person who loves everything centered and even, and I kind of have a little OCD when it comes to stuff like that, but yeah, so this layout was kind of bothering me that the lamp, the uh, ceiling lamp was off center to the fireplace, but I needed to make room for the chair on the other side, so I was going back and forth with that a lot. And then this rug gave me anxiety because... I end up changing it to a pattern that looks like it's straight out from the 60s, 70s, or 80s. I'm not even sure. It's this pattern, and I leave it there. And looking back at it, I'm like, why did you leave that there? There would have been so many other patterns that you could have used. I didn't want to use stripes for everything because I used it for the island, the bar stools, and that chair. So I didn't want to use stripes for everything. So I kind of wanted to look for something different, but I end up using this pattern and... I hate it. <laughs> I look back on it and I hate that pattern. So sorry, you guys are just going to have to change it. And then we're just adding knickknacks here and there for everything. I love putting little knickknacks everywhere because it just makes it look so much more realistic. And come on, who has a spotless countertop in their kitchen? I know I don't. I have so many things up there. I have my vitamins. I have my dog's vitamins. I have my essential oil diffuser, my dog treats. I have so much stuff on my counters. I'm looking at them right now like, I need to clean this off. Dang. Alrighty, that's what I'm doing after this. Um, and then the dining room. That chair that you see right there, I wanted to use that chair so bad because it just looked perfect to me. But then after recoloring it, I realized that it was only a living room chair, so I couldn't actually snap it into the table. So I ended up going with another chair from Seasons. What's well, the same collection, but just another chair. So it kind of matches, but it's kind of not what I originally wanted. And then these are the drapes that are custom content, as you can see. But other than that, that is the only custom content in this build. I try to keep it to a minimum. Now, if you guys want me to do a build with absolutely no CC, I can definitely do that. Leave me a comment down below and I'll be able to do that for you. Or if you guys want me to do a build with a ton of CC, we can do that too. I am all up for anything you guys want to see. If you guys want to see a certain Let's Play or a different kind of speed build or pretty much anything relating to The Sims 3, I don't have The Sims 2. And um, I have The Sims 4, but I don't necessarily like it all too much. Maybe one day I can go and revisit it. But right now, I am sticking to The Sims 3. Um, so yeah, and I do have all of the expansion packs. You'll rarely see me use Into the Future stuff. I only really use it for um, the windows that came with it. I don't really use it for anything else. But I mean, I can revisit it if you guys want. Um, so anything you guys want me to do, just put it down in the comments below. And then this bed I absolutely love from Seasons. I use it almost all of the time. It is my favorite. I wish I had that bed in real life. I would be sleeping like a queen. Thank you. <laughs> um, and just putting a mirror and dresser in there. I wanted to put a dresser, but no clothing racks or anything like that. Because again, they do have a closet right next door, as you can see. So, also, I love putting plants everywhere. Plants are my life. <laughs> but I can only put fake plants around because I end up killing everything. The only thing I haven't managed to kill is actually my herbs that I have outside. Surprisingly, those aren't dead yet. <laughs> Very surprisingly. I have had so many flowers and plants just die on me. Even if I water it and, you know, take care of it, somehow it just ends up dying. I think they don't like me. I'm not even sure. Probably my herbs are going to die someday soon. I don't even know. They just don't like me. <laughs> um, 
and just moving around putting laundry stuff in there because I do put a laundry room off to the side there as you can see a little bit and we're just making everything look pretty with the colors and yada yada not sure what else to talk about I like putting so many realistic elements in there oh and we're jumping upstairs now I guess um, this is the upstairs bathroom and it's weird how I made it bigger than the actual master bedroom bathroom because let me tell you if my kids have a bigger bathroom than me we're gonna fight <laughs> we're just gonna fight and as you can see there's a whole bunch of little alcoves that I did out front out front on the second floor and that one that you see right next to the toilet I'm actually gonna be closing off in a minute only because it just seemed like a very waste of space kind of thing and I didn't want it to just be there. Same with the ones in the upstairs landing right here. I actually close off those two to the front of the room. You'll see it in a little bit. And upstairs I end up putting a desk and a computer only because I didn't put a designated office in this house. I just kind of left it up to each person if they wanted a office or not but I just wanted to put like a family computer going on here because growing up we had a family computer in our family room convenient <laughs> um but yeah just something that everyone can use it's not for a specific person and I just put a little sitting area over here because again you saw the bookshelf so you know if you want to curl up next to a good book I love reading so I would definitely do that and then here's the nursery uh, the only store objects that I have in this entire build is actually going to be this crib and then the changing table. I didn't want to use the crib originally. I was going to use the base game one that kind of looks metal, but that one just looks so kind of gross to me. I rarely I rarely use that one. Um, and then the last room that we're doing right now is the teen girls room. I made the walls a little bit darker. Now I pictured her the kind of person that just didn't want any light colors in her room. You'll see everything is kind of dark and I did make her um, a little bit of like a virtuoso with the instruments in the corner and of course the music posters on the background. But you'll see I do this really cool thing with the rugs, how I kind of layer them because I figured she does not want anything light in her room, including the light floors. So I definitely changed those up a little bit. And then we're just putting a little makeup box for her that looks like something I used when I was <laughs> a teenager. So... Wow, I say that now. I feel so old, guys. I feel so old. I'm turning 22 in two weeks. Two? Three weeks? Three weeks. Um, I turned 22 on July 11th, so 7-Eleven. Yay, I get to go get a free Slurpee. Um, but I feel so old, so I definitely kind of channeled my younger self with this bedroom. And now we're going into the screenshots, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, leave me any comments down below of any requests that you guys have. And you can see I changed the lots here, so. Um, but make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your week, and bye-bye.